that, that what's your uh, I don't want to burn alive. What's your next big uh, poker uh, event, Daniel? What's what's on the horizon? Well, there's a U.S. Poker Open that'll air on Poker Go, which is a subscription based uh, thing there. And there's a LAPC, but I'm gearing up for the World Series of Poker. That's my favorite time of year. Happens in June, July. That's where I do vlogs on YouTube uh, daily for like six straight weeks of uh, the grind. So I've been taking a time off. I haven't really played much. The last poker I played was early December. So a little bit of a off season, if you will. How big of a deal would it be or uh, for you to win the main event? Like money aside, like is is that the ultimate feather in your cap, especially to beat that field that's out there now? Yeah, no, it's like it's one of those things where when I started in poker, I was like, I'm going to win this thing for sure at some point because there was 300, 400 players back then. Now there's 8,000, okay? And, you know, there's a lot of landmines. So I came 11th in 2015, which was a good accomplishment. Um, but it's it's just the most fun event every year. Like you get a whole bunch of hometown heroes all target that one, put up 10K, and first prize is usually in the neighborhood of like $10 million, pays a yeah. few bills. A lot of celebrities too. I, I think that's always Plenty. cool when I see Ray Romano out there or um, yeah. oh, what's his name who played George on um, on Seinfeld. Like, like when I, oh, I, Jason I really, Alexander plays. Jason Alexander plays, yep. yeah. He's a good player. Like, like, like I've, I've watched him play a good bit. He's he's fairly strong. I, <laughs> I, ever lose and be like, George is getting upset. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine everyone who plays in the World Series of Poker is at least a good player, right? They're not going to be no, absolutely not, not good though. Like, like, like no, you, you mentioned no. hometown hero, and in my head, I translated that to be a little bit like pejorative. You know, like they're good, small, big fish in a small pond. But I'm telling you, we have some like in that one event specifically. It brings uh -huh. out everybody, and I'm not talking good. I'm not talking average. I'm not talking bad. I'm talking about horrible. Like absolutely really? terrible. Like I could teach someone in 15 minutes to play better than them easily. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's amazing what that event brings. It's just like people see it on TV. They want to be a part of it and they don't have a clue what they're doing, but they, they go the for it. Is the strategy like with a those guys for you? Guy, can you just buy your way in basically? Or everybody like, buys yeah, I don't way really. In. Well, everybody pays 10K, right? There's no like, oh, like I'll get you know, to day two and for paying extra or something like that. It's an even playing field. Okay. Yeah, anyone Everyone who wants to play in that event out. can play in that event. You just need $10,000. I didn't realize uh, that. I figured that must be like some kind of qualifier. Like, oh, you got to win a regional tournament first. But what's the world? What's the strategy for that? Do you try to fleece the weakest people so that you go into the second day and third with more money than you would have otherwise? Like, what? how do you go into How do you do it? Definitely, yeah. Like, part of the thing about poker tournaments is table draw is sort of like random so sometimes you might be at a table and you're like what the hell how this happened these are all pros at my table but most of the time in the main event you got a bunch of non-pros so when you do have that opportunity i push the envelope i really press try to get as many chips as i can so that later in the event when i am playing against a lot more pros i just have more ammo and more chips so mm. the strategy is like push the envelope try to get in as many hands against the weaker players and then you know build up a stack so that i hopefully can take me all the way Huh. Okay. If there's a bunch of like, let's say you just get a, a rough table and there's a bunch of pros on day one, are you guys just out? Half that table doesn't go on like that. No, no. You play. You play all day. The main event it takes like ten days of play, so you uh -huh. play like ten hours a day every day. So even if it was all pros, like it's fine. You just be a little more careful, keep your guard up, and everyone can get through. Right, as long as you just don't lose all your chips on the first day, mm -hmm. uh, you just don't have as many opportunities to build. So let's say you start with fifty k in chips. When I'm playing a bunch of amateurs at the table, I'd like to build that to 300,000 by the end of the day. If I'm playing against pros, maybe I'm happy to just get out of the day with my 50 and, you know, not mm -hmm. lose any. So you just have to, you know, adjust your expectation based on the table you're at. Hmm. Okay. 